son of gold. And my brother, save my mind. And you don't die, give as you receive. And your release is Satan. Today's teaching is the part 142 in the series Christ Forgiveness, How to Manifest Immortality, Season 2. And the name of this teaching is The Holy Encounter. Glory to God in the highest and to you because he has so willed it. Ask and it shall be given you because it has already been given. Ask for light and learn that you are light. If you want understanding and enlightenment, you learn it because your decision to learn it is the decision to listen to the teacher who knows of light and can therefore teach it to you. There is no limit on your learning because there is no limit on your mind. There is no limit on his teaching because he was created to teach. Understanding his function perfectly, he fulfills it perfectly because that is his joy and yours. To fulfill the will of God perfectly is the only joy and peace that can be fully known because it is the only function that can be fully experienced. When this is accomplished, then there is no other experience. Yet the wish for other experience will block its accomplishment because God's will cannot be forced upon you, being an experience of total willingness. The Holy Spirit understands how to teach you this, but you do not. That is why you need him and why God gave him to you. Only his teaching will release your will to God, uniting with his power and glory. Uniting it with his power and glory and establishing them as yours. You say them as God says them because this is the natural outcome of their being. The will of the Father and the Son are one by their extension. Their extension is the result of their oneness, holding their unity together by extending their joint will. This is perfect creation by the perfectly created in union with the perfect creator. The father must give fatherhood to his son because his own fatherhood must be extended outward. You, who belong in God, have the holy function of extending his fatherhood by placing no limits upon it. Let the Holy Spirit teach you how to do this, for you can know what it means only of God himself. When you meet anyone, remember it is a holy encounter. As you see him, you will see yourself. As you treat him, you will treat yourself. As you think of him, you will think of yourself. Never forget this, for in him you will find yourself or lose yourself. Whenever two sons of God meet, they are given another chance at salvation. Do not leave anyone without giving salvation to him and receiving it yourself. For I'm always there with you in remembrance of you. All of the curriculum, regardless of the teacher you choose, is know thyself. There is nothing else to seek. Everyone is looking for himself and for the power and glory he thinks he has lost. Whenever you are with anyone, you have another opportunity to find them. Your power and glory are in him because they are yours. The ego tries to find them in yourself alone because it does not know where to look. The Holy Spirit teaches you that if you look only at yourself, you cannot find yourself because that is not what you are. Whenever you are with a brother, you are learning what you are because you are teaching what you are. You will respond either with pain or with joy, depending on which teacher you are following. You will be imprisoned or released according to your decision, and so will you. Never forget your responsibility to him because it is your responsibility to yourself. 
give him his place in the kingdom, and you will have yours. Kingdom cannot be found alone, and you who are the kingdom cannot find yourself alone. To achieve the goal of the Sirioculum, then, you cannot listen to the ego, whose purpose is to defeat its own goal. The ego does not know this because it does not know anything. But you can know it, and you will know it if you are willing to look at what the ego would make of you. This is your responsibility, because once you have really, you have really looked at Once you have really looked at it, you will accept the atonement for yourself. What other choice could you make? Having made this choice, you will understand why you once believed that when you met someone else, you thought he was someone else, and every whole encounter in which you enter fully will teach you this is not so. You can encounter only part of yourself because you are part of God, who is everything. His power and glory are everywhere, and you cannot be excluded from them. The good thing is that your strength is in you alone. The Holy Spirit teaches that all strength is in God, and therefore, therefore, in you, God wills no one suffer. He does not will anyone to suffer for a wrong decision, including you. That is why he has given you the means for undoing it. Through his power and glory, all your wrong decisions are done completely, releasing you and your brother from every imprisoning thought any part of the sonship holds. Wrong decisions have no power because they are not true. The imprisonment they seem to produce is no more true than they are. Power and glory belong to God alone, so do you. God gives whatever belongs to Him because He gives of Himself and everything belongs to Him. Giving of yourself is the function He has given you. He gave you. Fulfilling it perfectly will let you remember what you have of Him and by this you will remember also what you are in him you cannot be powerless to do this because this is your power glory is god's gift to you because that is what he is see this glory everywhere to remember what you are